Kai and Moshe Hab and Nicholas and Lauren, of course, Craddy. Everyone really doubled down to make the, the DAP more robust. And I also want to give major praise to Craddy and uh, and Marcelo and all the new people who are coming in to help giveth out. Uh, it's um, you know we're we we really need to grow to be able to handle what we're taking on. Uh, and and then I want to also just praise Lauren and Almond and Mitch, you know, for taking such a leadership and putting so much on their shoulders. Uh, and uh, Ashley and Nicola as well. Uh, the five of you really are taking everything and putting it on your shoulders, and it feels like you're all alone, but you're really killing it. So uh, thank you all so much. And I'll pass it over to Lauren. Thanks, Griff. Um, yeah, awesome praise. Tough to fall. I guess we're doing three, but you did like 300. Um, I'm going to praise Carlos. I'm going to praise Carlos because Carlos has been like just on the fly running so many queries for me, checking all these stats for the Polygon round so I can report to the Polygon team. And basically every day I'm like, oh my God, Carlos, can you give me this data? And he just does it like right away. He's giving me so much data constantly and I just really appreciate all his cooperation. Um, I also want to praise Ashley and Nicola because they did an amazing job with project verification and project curation and the Polygon round. Like they put so many hours into that, like reviewing every single project and just like on top of that, like outreach and support. And yeah, like, you know, we verified tons and tons of projects, went through hundreds of applications. So major praise to them. And last, I want to praise Jake um, because Jake is just like such a great person for following up on all the partnerships. He like never lets the ball drop, like monitoring the, the CRM and and he's like, even just today, I was like, oh, God, Jake, I don't want to talk to another person. He was like, don't worry, I'll talk to them. And he had like a call and he sorted it out and just like really took something off my plate with his such amazing extroversion power. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll pass it to Jake. Nice. Thanks, Lauren. Feeling warm and fuzzy. My first one will definitely be for Ash. Ash went from owning zero cats last week when we were supposed to have the town hall meeting to now you can see she owns over 10 cats on this call and great job cat herding putting the new format together everybody's pretty excited i said it once already but sometimes when something's so nice you say it twice praise to lauren for all the qf stuff i get to follow along in all the groups and it's paying off with this polygon and then lastly somebody that doesn't get much praise at all lauren's mom she was so cool to join the comms call earlier this week and she repeat offended came to the give economy call so very nice to see family as part of the give uh, galaxy and let me pass it to mitch I, I don't know what to do after that praise that was just too epic uh i mean i want to give praise to mateo and carlos for coming up with the subscript solution to uh speed up finding any missed donations that maybe we didn't catch um and like putting them in coming to all these random like partnership things especially carlos like hey i need this random thing for this partnership and then like carlos gets in there and helps out so like endowment uh and donorship specifically huge help uh i'd like to praise mohammed uh for doing lots of really great uh back-end work taking on solana and superfluid uh working on both of those simultaneously um and then the last person I want to praise is Craddy. Uh, Craddy for pushing me to do more development work and getting me into the this, you know, some solidity development stuff and really uh, pushing me to separate my times so that I spend more doing the things that I like to do more. So that's my three praise and I'll pass it to Wonka. Thanks, Mitch. Um, yeah, I would like to praise uh, Cotabe and Pedro. I, I think they are uh, doing a great job um, on funneling so much um, information around opportunities in the space. Um, I would also like to praise uh, Griff. Um, like he's like my, my constant praise because for, since the beginning to this moment, um, I feel very supported and grateful for, for um, all the support. And I would like to also praise um, Ashley, Nicola, and yeah, and Mitch, and 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 Lauren, and and Danny, and for um, being the leaders um, 
and and carrying the torch um, in this in this uh, in this organization and in the space. And I would like to pass it to um, Ashley. Thanks, Wonka. I want to praise first and foremost Lauren and Nicola, like this trifecta team that we have going on for the Polygon rounds. Like it's so great to ha feel so supported, and you know it, it, we're all juggling a lot of things, but also it doesn't take long when we put when we put something into our chat, and one of us picks it up, and you know just picks up the ball, and we just keep rolling with it right away. And so it's so great to work with both of you and have you on my team. I love you guys. And I want to praise Mitch for all the work that you're putting into, uh, you know, revamping different systems like the vesting and like how do we put more utility into our give tokens and just like all these different processes that we've always had, just like, you know, evolving them into something new that's working for what we need now and taking the initiative to do that. I think that's also really great. And I have one more. I, oh, yeah, I want to praise Griff also so much for having call with Nicola and I and just kind of like going over some of these you know on the fence project applications for verification and just helping us to maybe gain some perspective in how we can define public goods a little bit better it really it like proportionately multiplied Nicola and I's capability to process applications and that was so helpful so thank you so much for that and I will pass it to Danny Yay! Hi, you guys. Well, you've said a lot of the ones that I, just, I don't want to have to necessarily repeat, but yeah, Ashley, Nicola, and Lauren, just crushing it. You guys, the, the project applications being processed, seeing what you guys moved through is absolutely incredible. And wow, is quadratic funding and give us taking off with you guys, you ladies driving it. I especially want to thank Mitch, um, seeing this last week as I'm getting caught up, the proposals coming up. Uh, looking at how to revamp the R give and also getting rewards caught up. Uh, just Mitch, you're just such a, a, a rock star on all of those things. And my third praise, I actually want to, I don't think they're here, but I want to praise Casey Jepson and Christian, the driving force between Soil Dow. These guys have just been killing it, sharing about Giveth, getting people, getting users and donors onboarded. They've taken the top spot in all of the three QF rounds. And I know you all probably don't even know who they are, but they are singing the praises and working giveth all of the time. And I'm really proud of what they're doing as a project <laughs> and what they're building on these platforms. Uh, thanks. And I'll pass it to Almond. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Danny. Um, I want to praise um, Lauren. Uh, and I think that I mentioned this a couple of days ago, but I want to praise you because you always make issues that are very clear and you follow up great with everything um, that you need regarding comms. I want to praise Mitch because um, he has been very responsive with the Solana onboarding. So whenever I need his support or whenever I need him to connect with the Solana project, he will just be right away answering, responding. So that is great. And I want to praise um, Ashley because she reminded me uh, about my body cold that I will have today. So. Um, excited to hear all of your feedback uh, and yeah and I'll pass it to Kotabe that just joined Jim are we doing uh, the the three praises okay okay uh, so I, I want to praise um, I will just bundle. <laughs> uh, I, I will praise Ashley and Nicola because I think that uh, they are doing great work with the verifying team, always uh, with uh, tricky uh, decisions, but I think always taking um, in consideration uh, what what's the mandate, what should we uh, give give backs for, and what not. Um, I want to praise uh, Lauren and Mitch for keeping the. Um, backlog uh small and uh being the sometimes the breaks to to have more clarity on what we should or should not do uh, and i want to praise great for always pushing us forward being the gas and 
finding really great opportunities um, and guiding us. Thanks. That's it. Um, I came a little bit late, but let's see. Maybe Jake? Uh, Jake, Jake went, but I think, well, for sure, Juan hasn't gone. Juan, do you have any praise to dish? Sorry to just like call on you and and warning to uh, Meta and TMD, uh, uh, Rick and TMD, I might I'll be calling on you too. Okay, one one may not be able to unmute. So what about Nicola? Did you go? No, I didn't. I can take it. Okay, okay. hey guys. By the way, so nice to be here together again like this. Okay, I. If you guys didn't have enough of praise about Ashley and Lauren, I'm going to continue because I want to start with Ashley and say that, wow, the way we were able to crush so many, like literally hundreds of projects, not only on review, but also on verification, combined with that beautiful kick uh, that came after the call with Grave that was so uh, helpful for both of us. I feel like we crushed it and make together such a beautiful powerhouse. And I just enjoy working so closely with you so much, Ashley. I appreciate how closely we can work together, be super synced and on top of things and covering each other and filling up with it. And I'm just like, enjoy really working with you like this. And it was a pleasure to uh, get through this uh, beautiful polygon round together. And then following with having, you know, Lauren, Lauren's, you know, having our bag and being on top of like all the chats and conversations and supportive and sending emails and like, you could, you could see her picking up anything that was just like needed. She like went in and like did the thing and like held and pointed, you know, notifications. I mean, it was just such a great tandem. So I, I can appreciate enough and they can praise you enough guys for this and uh i also want to praise jan kin because our discord got so so super busy during this time and he was so helpful not only like we're helping with all these issues but we, he helped us create a uh, ticket system ticketing system and that helps us to actually sort out uh you know issues and support a little bit better and i feel like that's a that's a cool thing to bring into your awareness um, so, and I, I know many of you are already using it. So that's my praise. And who wants to try now? Meta screen plays. It's yours. Yeah, Rick. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, I just want to give uh, all of you guys a praise. This is my first time. And I'm really just listening in. I'm uh, at work, one eye in my work, and one eye on the screen here. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Rick, and thanks for jumping in and praise. And I just saw Willie roll in. Uh, wait, is he still here? Oh, just missed him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Uh, Willie, you got any praise to dish? No, I'm just catching up on stuff today. So maybe soon I'll have some praise to dish, but I'll do the generic praise to all of y'all for being here. Um, been following the progress from afar and uh, saw the announcement that we were doing the, the town hall today and wanted to come catch up on all, all your awesome progress. So good yeah. to see you all. It's good to see you too, Willie. Uh, okay, I'll throw it over. We'll make some two more quick ones and then we'll have to end it at 20 minutes. But uh, I see Monique there. So Monique, do you want to dish some praise? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, praise Lauren for bringing QF to the US. <laughs> now we can see the value that it creates. It's boosting or that. And oh my God, it's very good. I want to praise uh, Mitch uh, for his leadership uh, over all the things. Um, and I can see how much work he's doing. Um, praise. Uh, Rami for being a release manager today and is uh, taking care of all the uh, things in the team and it's wonderful. Praise Mary Jeff for uh, always testing all the details and being uh, our eyes in this dark uh, <laughs> business areas of the use cases. And uh, I can dish praises in the channel for other people. Sorry. Who, who should I pass to? I think Mateo. I think, and Matteo, you can close us out. Yeah. Hey, guys. No, I want to dish praise to all the development team. I think the work that it's been done there is amazing, so I want to praise them. I'll do that uh, on the praise bot. But yeah, just wanted to mention that. Pass it back to you, Griff. 
Nice. Thanks, Mateo. And welcome to our monthly town hall. We have done, I don't know, it was like 180 something community calls. And now we're switching it up to just once a month. Uh, we do a town hall to invite everyone to see our progress on the month. And uh, and we're just going to go straight into it and throw it over to uh, the Dow service announcements announcements. Uh, well, maybe I can do this one. Uh, so we have Kai and Mohammed who are both taking some time off. Uh, we, if you are, if you're ever feeling some kind of conflict with anyone in the DAO, please consider uh, filling out these review forms, like the 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 um, contribute. Where is it? Gravity support request here at the bottom. And then we also have all these feedback forms. So we kind of do like a 360 feedback uh, system where anytime uh, you feel like someone's doing a really great job or if you know something they could improve in, check out these uh, review forms and you can just kind of like make sure that the feedback gets to them when they need it uh, through our buddy system. And the other big announcement is our give distribution is happening until February 16th. So there's a forum post that you want to get, you want to check out, create your vote and, uh, and get yourself some our give tokens now on optimism. And with that, I'll kick it over to Mitch, uh, for the DAP. Yay. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. DAP highlights some cool stuff that we did. Uh, we launched. Uh, the multi-sig feature launch. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So now you can see uh, in the little screenshots there. Finally, we're back on the on the official safe apps and it actually works this time. So now you can log in uh, with your multi-sig. You can donate, you can create a pop, uh, profile. You can boost projects with give power. You can do just about anything now with the, with the multi-sig, except for QF. QF, you still need to be a human. So next time but anyway uh so that's pretty cool uh big props to like Mateo and carlos who worked super super hard on that and mary jeff as well who went crazy testing it uh after that solana integration launch i was thinking that i would be able to announce it like quietly today but uh ramin amin monique are still in the background working out the last kinks before we go live so that's going to be huge, though. That means, you know, you can connect to Giveth with Solana, you know, with Phantom Wallet or whatever, Soulflare, and you can make donations to projects and projects can add Solana addresses and receive Sol tokens, uh, as well as a few choice SPL tokens. So that's going to be really, really cool. And probably tomorrow, if not Sunday, that'll be live on Giveth. So that's pretty cool. Um, next thing. Uh, we've got is the donorship partnership. Uh, so we're working on that still. Uh, it's going to be a cool donation widget that'll be uh, on all of the crypto websites, allowing people to donate to projects on Giveth uh, through these external websites. And we might even collect a small cut uh, of a fee. So that'll be cool. Make a little bit of extra money for Giveth and uh, funnel donations to projects. Uh, yeah, and we've got some meetings that we have on the one more page up. Uh, we have our developer daily standups. Those happen, they're starting to happen at 8 a.m. now. Uh, that's Monday to Thursday, Mexico time. Uh, we do a monthly issue grooming, I think, I hope. That's uh, Mondays at 8 a.m. as well. And we have our comms call where we also cover stuff related to the DAP. That happens Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Uh, Mexico time every week. And we can go to the next slide. So what happened so far? Uh, what went well in the last month? Uh, partnerships, uh, cool. namely the donorship one that I just mentioned. We also got a cool one with Stake Together, where like we're going to be getting staking rewards with the Stake Together platform, and those will go out to like the top ten projects uh, rate, uh, rated by Give Power. Uh, so that's in the works. We're also talking to endowment to onboard endowment nonprofits onto the Giveth platform. That'll be another like seven, eight thousand projects potentially that like people can donate from uh, through Giveth. Uh, impact reports. So Ashley started doing impact reports, um, and I think we had a year in review of givebacks. I think Griff's got it there on Twitter. So yeah, that's the year in review for 2023. 
uh, of all of the donations that were givebacks eligible and the dollar value of the givebacks that we gave out in the whole year. So you can see, you know, uh, a little over half a million dollars in uh, givebacks eligible donations. Or, yeah. And then $180,000 worth of givebacks uh, given out over the year as well. So pretty, pretty cool. That's givebacks at work there. Uh, and we're going to be doing these impact reports uh, semi regularly as we continue to send out more and more givebacks uh, every two weeks. Uh, what else went well? I mean, Lauren said in her praise, project onboarding and verification team just like crushing it, you know, and like user support, like that's all you guys. That's like Giant Kin, Nicola, Ashley. I saw Monique getting in there as well. I saw Ramin getting his hands dirty in the support channel, like really really cool to see and especially like onboarding all of these awesome projects um and the last thing that went well was rallying rallying lauren said guys we need to fix this now we can't have like a bazillion failed donations we can't have web pages crashing uh for the polygon round and so uh i think griff said it himself that it was like a huge upgrade over what happened over the giving season round like there was still some issues there's always going to be issues, but like really for the most part, I think we did a great job on that one. So, I mean, you know, thanks Lauren for getting the team together, but also like Amin, DevOps team, Monique in there, you know, all of the team, the development team really came together to make those changes happen quickly. What could have gone better? There's some things, okay, this is my point of view. Uh, we got the multi-sig thing done. It took a it took longer than I was hoping, you know, and lots of testing, lots of problems with with, you know, safes and all that. Um, so that took longer. We have some UX challenges for the Solana integration. You know, we weren't able to get that thing where you could have one profile that has your EVM, you know, your Arbitrum, your Optimism, your ETH and your Solana. It's not the same profile. We couldn't get it done uh, in time for this first one, but we'll keep working on it later. Uh, onboarding Solana projects is tough. I don't know very much about Solana, so it's kind of been slow going, but Almon said is we're, we're working on it with, with Nicola and Almond. Uh, coordinating resources to work on Superfluid. Uh, some confusion because we had the DAP performance thing happening at the same time that we needed to kick out Superfluid and poor Carlos and Mohammed are just like all over the place, you know, so uh email service migration we were supposed to move our email services from autopilot to ordo stop using segment and paying these crazy segment bills that we get every month that didn't happen on time uh and so really need to focus and make sure that we get that done so we're not uh paying out the wazoo to keep using segment uh and hiring forgive with marketing we need to grow our our marketing and comms team uh and so hiring has been challenging to find just that right person that we need. Uh, last thing on this slide is I want you guys to look at these amazing KPIs, okay, in the corner there. Season two stats, look at this. Donations, 181,000, more than 100, 181,000, almost 182,000 uh, in donations since season two started for the DAP. So that's December 26th until yesterday when I pulled the data. Uh, of that givebacks eligible, uh, 46,566 and 23 newly verified projects. So huge, huge this month. And I think we know who's the culprit for that, but yeah, it's great. Uh, what's coming up next? Uh, endowment integration, as I mentioned, working on that with them. We're still gonna push forward on growing the team. We gotta kick out that email service migration. Arbitrum is coming to give it to, so Monique is all over that. Uh, so integrating that and letting people make donations uh, on the Arbitrum network. We want to launch Superfluid. We want to onboard more Solana projects. And we've got a give talk coming up with uh, Crypto Altruism Podcast. Uh, I'll be hosting, and that's going to be happening on January 29th. So if you guys have projects that want to learn how to become really, really good, at fundraising and crypto, uh, this is the place to join because Drew from Crypto Altruism is a total expert. So uh, that's what I got for the DAP. And uh, I think Lauren has something of Lauren's. 
Yeah. The, no. the Mitch and Lauren show. Uh, thanks, Mitch. Um, take the Give Economy Working Group. So really not a lot going on in the Give Economy Working Group. Um, but we have some things going on. As Mitch mentioned, we're doing um, we're working with Stake Together to basically give rewards to the top 10 projects that are boosted with Give Power. So this is going to be kind of like a new benefit to boosting projects with Give Power and is something that we're going to need to be pushing on a comms, uh, comm side as well. Um, We've also been doing some research on how people are using give tokens. Like, are we putting out all these incentives for give power and just like having them just like dumped and sold in the market or are mostly people harvesting and restaking? So Mitch has done a ton of work on putting together a spreadsheet and getting all this analytics data from Dune to track to see how give is being bought or sold and from where and by who. So we can start making better decisions around what to do with give power incentives in the future. But we're not quite there yet but that's a highlight um and then the last highlight i'll mention here on this first slide is that we've started doing some work about getting give on some centralized exchanges we want to basically make the give token more tradable and and just have a lot more activity so that we can really kind of boost the give economy um so steve has started that research this is all still very very new all these things are just kind of like in progress stage but they're the top highlights we've got you can go to the next slide um, what happened in January? So, um, well, in January, we checked all the boxes to make sure that give incentives are still going out, you know, basically just like assigned all the balances to the appropriate contracts so that the give power rewards continue without a hitch. Um, as I mentioned, we did some research on what's being sold and what's being bought, um, which will hopefully use, be used to inform uh, future uh, give power incentives. And um, I started knowledge sharing sessions with Craddy to really onboard her to how all of the mm, different parts of the give economy work and how they all work together so that we can kind of have that that common knowledge across different working groups. We've also had a lot of developers working with each other to try to different understand different parts of the give economy so the knowledge isn't so centralized and just a mean or and we can actually empower more people into into making changes um what could have gone better well you know we had some issues with the giving season qf round uh, we did this huge you know performance overhaul and and like now aren't missing so many donations but like in december we missed a bunch of donations people were reporting like I donated, but the transaction wasn't stored in the database, which ended up creating like a huge ripple effect down the line with like a delay in um, our, our checking things for the giving season QF round, but also a delay in Ashley even being able to be like, this was the donation data for this give backs round, which then was kind of like dumped onto Griff, who's like very busy. And it's like, Griff, now you have to review all these give backs rounds. So I'm not 100% sure if we're still backlogged three rounds, but we were backlogged three rounds. Um, but Ashley, Ashley and Griff, you can jump in and tell me if uh, if uh, anything here. I commented, but nobody responded. 52, 50, uh, round 52 is out, but 53 and 54 are still getting the data. OK, cool. So 52 is out and we're still backlogged two rounds on give back. So not ideal, but hopefully going to be improved now with like things that Mitch mentioned, like the sub squid and and uh, adding making sure that we're not missing any donations. Also, guys, you know, this is totally my fault, but I'm months behind on getting a Give Economy Working Group proposal out, which leads me to my last point, which is just that we're in desperate need of support in the Give Economy Working Group. The Give Economy Working Group is not getting nearly enough love. Um, all my time is being spent on the QF Working Group. As you can see from these very sparse slides, there's like, it's like crickets happening over there. What are our KPIs? Well, um, you know, we have 185 million give staked on Gnosis. I got that from Mitch. And then other than that, I don't know, there's crickets. There's crickets happening over here because we really need strong leadership in the give economy working group so we can basically like address ongoing issues that we've been having, br bring more demand to the give token and just like really think about the economy. It just needs it needs brains and power and love and all my brains and power and love are being put on the other working group, which we'll get to later. Um, but yeah, you can go to the next slide. So, um, oops. What's coming up in February? Whoa, I added things to the slide. It's so funny. I feel like you're like showing a version of the slides that is not what I just recently updated. So this is maybe like a previously saved version, but it's OK. It's OK. It's not the one I'm looking at. What's coming up in February? Um, we're doing a cost benefit analysis of getting give on exchanges, checking out the dumps and buys to adjust the incentives program. 
getting givebacks out like crazy people. Um, I also added some things onto this slide just before this call, but I'm not seeing them show up, but I'll mention them anyways. Um, we're working on some give power improvements, like including stake together, uh, instant boost. We're talking about making give power possible on non verified projects as well. Yeah. Oh, I guess it was because you're in presentation mode and I edited one. That makes sense. Cool, cool, cool. Um, also, we've got a lot of complaints about like what verified means. People are confused about what verified means and like, why can't I be verified? I'm doing real work. And so we're going to be talking about like changing up verified and the givebacks program or verified and a public good. So that's coming up soon. Um, hopefully we can we can work on scoping out a, a redesign of the give economy to make things like easier to find and more intuitive. But Stay tuned for the working group proposal where you'll see all of this information and more. Hopefully that I mean, I'll get that out in, in February sometime. And that's all I got for the Give Economy Working Group. Pass it on to probably Mitch. Ooh, who else is leading a working group around here? It's you, Mitch. Oh, oh that other one. Oh, yeah. OK. Uh, Dow Ops. Cool. So we got some highlights here. Uh, Griff gave one away because I put it in the first slide, so he already said it. <laughs> but it's the argive distribution. Uh, so this is open for all of our active regular uh, contributors uh, who have been as with us for at least three months. There's a bunch of details in the forum post, which I didn't link on here, but it's very easily. So that's open until uh, February 16th, I think. Yeah. And... Apart from that, there's also the vesting distribution uh, that's up in the forum as well. And uh, just leaving some time to people review to check those numbers. So, I mean, if you've been a regular contributor for at least, uh, I think it's three months, maybe more. Uh, you might be included in there and be getting some vesting and gift tokens. So check that out in the forum. The other thing I wanted to get this up before this call, but it just didn't happen is New Argive distribution system. Uh, DevOps had a look at it for Shell, Nicola, Nico. They're like, looks good. So I want to put that on the forum uh, so that you guys can check out how we might replace the current way that we distribute uh, Argive with one that's a little bit less work for everybody. Uh, so, and we also have some calls. Uh, we have a bi weekly uh, governance call that happens on Mondays at 9 a.m. Mexico time. And we also have a biweekly uh, DAO Ops sync within the working group. And that happens at Thursday, 8 a.m. Mexico. So I think the governance call, we just had one this week. So it'll be in two weeks from now. So February 5th will be our next governance call. And the next DAO Ops call will be February 1st. Uh, so yeah, that's some highlights. Maybe we can check out the next slide. What happened in January? What we what we did really well was uh, drafting some policies and some guidelines for people. Uh, lots of work from Frischel and Nico and Heather uh, and Nicola uh, for reviewing and putting out these form posts. So you know, guidelines and buddies, uh, paid time off changes, introducing Clockify writing a guide so people know how to use it, you know, things like that. Uh, Nicole has been working super, super hard on this DAO health check review. So like taking the year's worth of self-review forms that everyone's been filling out and like finding out like actually how we perceive the DAO and like if the DAO seems to be in a good spot. Uh, the other thing, we're really good at signing multi-sigs now, thanks to the, the Den bot. Uh, I mean, praise Willie for showing me the den bot and praise Giantkin for actually setting it up. Uh, so now all of you guys get DMs from a bot instead of me telling you to sign stuff. So it happens so fast. Uh, also, I mean, paying everybody, doing all of the, the budgeting, the account management, the treasury management for Shell's just doing always a great job of keeping track of that stuff. What could have gone better? Ooh, the rewards team disappeared. I don't know where they went, so I'm just doing the rewards now. <laughs> so yeah, that could have gone better. Uh, getting people to use Clockify still, some people are a bit slow on it or not putting the data in 
in a certain way or putting it in weeks late. And uh, so we really need to work on that on our Clockify hygiene. Uh, working group proposals seem tough to get moving. Nudge, nudge, Lauren. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Uh, and also some Clockify stuff can be time consuming for accounting, but we're working on making a lot of it automated. So, yeah, I don't have any particular stats to share uh, for DevOps, so we can just, uh, I think there was one more slide. What's coming up? Uh, yeah. So that's the thing I mentioned, the argive distribution system. Praise rewards are coming out, okay. Uh, we've got about five rounds that are pending to distribute, so I'll probably get that up today. And buddy review calls. Nico's firing up the buddy review machine, so make sure uh, you're diligent in writing reviews for your peers uh, and scheduling time with your buddy to have your calls, okay? It's super, super important, you guys, that I know everyone's super busy, but it doesn't work if you don't take 10, 15 minutes out of your day and uh, give a review to your peer so that they know how to get better uh, at what they're doing. It's it's super, super important. And just, I know it It seems like a like an always there kind of annoying thing, but uh, I know everybody appreciates it when they have their buddy review and they see the feedback and they can like learn how to improve. So just take your time to fill up peer reviews. Very, very important. Um, and I'll pass it on to the next one. Who could it be? Who could it be? It's me. It's me. It's the Lord of Mitch show. <laughs> okay. Quadratic funding working group. Oh, here's my time to shine, you guys. As we know, we've had some great successes this last month with quadratic funding. Um, the Biddle One Polygon round was a huge success. We'll get in some KPIs on the next slide. We've got the Metapool round in the pipe. It's like already being prepared. We're going to be running that in February. And ENS is like now emerging and they're hot on the tail. Super excited to be running this their ENS public goods round. So those are highlights. Let's jump, jump. Um, what happened in January? So as we know, Biddle and Polygon round was huge. You can kind of just like slide over here to the KPIs. We got, so the matching pool was 250,000 Matic. Oh. And then over $160,000 was donated. I mean, I checked that yesterday afternoon, so it might even be one hundred and seventy. dollars But over $160,000 was donated on Polygon to eligible projects in this QF round, round alone. This is kind of like huge, enormous. We've never seen this amount of donations in a week period of time on Giveth before. So epic, epic work. And like, as we mentioned many times, like major praise to all the devs who worked really hard to make sure that we weren't missing any of those donations. Um, we also got lots of action on Twitter uh, as well because of this round. We got 411 new followers, 74,000 impressions on our tweets around the Polygon round. And that's just during this week alone. So Polygon round was enormous. Uh, we still have to do some work there, basically like civil analysis data, collecting the data, sending it out and doing all of that work and actually distributing the matching funds. So it's not done yet, but we can still celebrate because it was great. Um, yeah. Um, so big progress on catching missed donations. Also, um, we added all of the donations to the giving season round. As we mentioned, like in the giving season round, that was when we really had this wake up call of like, oh my God, so many donations are getting this. Everybody's reporting that this is a problem. And so since then we did a big cleanup, so we're not missing donations anymore. But it meant that for like the first like three weeks of January, Carlos was like trying to go through, like we got all of the transaction data from Etherscan. And then Carlos was doing like all this manual checking to see like, was it a multi-sig? Were they a registered user in our profile? And then like adding those donations to our database. So finally we got that done. We sent the data out to do the analysis on the giving season round and we just got the Sybil report back now. So hopefully we're gonna be sending out those matching funds sometime, like I would say like by the end of next week cause we have to do like a second check. Um, Griffin, I do that second check, but giving season round, even though it was like a much smaller round at the end of December and we had all these issues, it was still actually quite a success. You slide over to the KPIs here. We had 25,000 USD glow in matching funds and $19,000 donated. So again, we're kind of like keeping up with this trend of like pretty similar donation amounts as matching pool amounts, which is like really, really incredible. Like um, even, even like in most Gitcoin rounds, you don't really see that many donations coming from individual donors the donation amounts are usually much much smaller than the matching pool amount so to see that these are like pretty similar amounts is like super epic for giveth um 
Yeah, and then um, things are getting a lot more organized around here. So in an effort to multiply my capabilities, I've been um, basically trying to create documentation around how to run a QF round, putting all of our spreadsheets in one place and all of this tracking. So hopefully I can or onboard other people to run QF rounds so that I don't have to do so much like micromanaging around it. So a lot of work has been going into that this past month. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping like Ashley and Nicole are already doing like a huge chunk of the work for like all the project curation on QF rounds. And I'm hoping that as things go into the future, we can just make things better and better. Um, so, um, yeah, what what could have gone better? Well, the giving the season donation ads thing took forever. Also, this was a new kind of thing for us, but verification is so deeply confusing to projects. Like new projects who are just coming to the platform, they're like applying to be part of the Polygon round and they're like, I want to get verified. And then we're like, no, you can't. And they're like, what do you mean we can't? We're like, well, you're not a public good with a history of impact and reputation at stake. And then they're like, what, what does that mean? That's not what the word verified means. So people were like getting super like, confused about like if they were rejected from verification they thought they were going to be rejected from the round which wasn't true and if they were rejected from verification they thought it meant like all kinds of other negative things and so we've been like making an effort now to do some cleanup around that changing copy on emails changing copy on the dap and like as i mentioned in the give economy slide uh we were talking about like changing up what verification means and creating like verification means this and then like if you get give backs you have to be a verified public good with our previous system or something like that but um, to be discussed. Um, yeah, also, um, there's there was huge overhead on the project curation. Like, uh, there was lots of praise going around for Ashley and Nicola and, and, and me in the Polygon QF round. And it's like, I mean, it was just madness with project curation because we basically got a list from Polygon that was like, to 300 addresses and names and we had to like search an admin bro for each individual one and copy and paste over their emails and it was this like huge manual effort just to get the projects into the round and so many people were excited about this round so many project owners were asking about it so it was just like a huge huge bunch of work bunch of work and there was also a big oversight on um, not having very, very clear the um, disqualifying factors for participating in QF rounds. We didn't have it written clearly in our documentation that offering quid pro quos like raffles or like saying like donate to my project and um, you'll be entering to win an airdrop or like donate to my project and I'll send you your funds back and also um, you know, more. <laughs> it's like we saw a lot of this coming out in the Polygon QF round because we didn't have that made super, super explicit. So that's something that we've like now incorporated and we're going to be doing a lot better of in future rounds. Um, yeah, last thing here on the slide um, that, you know, I mentioned the Metapool round, but didn't talk about the KPIs here. Uh, basically, for the Metapool round, we're going to be running a Metapool round um, in February. Uh, it's targeting projects that are specifically working in the Asia and P Asia Pacific region, like Thailand, Vietnam, China, Singapore. There's a list on our on our Notion doc. Um, but we're targeting projects that are on there. And already we're seeing with the Metapool round that we're getting a lot of engagement around, um, at least like on our social media. I'm going to put these stats in here. But yeah, it's like our top performing tweet was the Metapool round announcement with like almost 9,000 impress impressions and 4,000 engagements. So that's a small round, a $10,000 matching pool in MPE on optimism. Um, and it's only gonna be five to six projects, but it is a big uh, opportunity to like really get more people looking at Giveth and more projects getting onboarded and more people donating. So that's what happened in January and some things to look forward to. You can kind of jump to the next slide. Cool. Coming out in February, um, closing out the giving season polygon rounds, civil analysis, distributing matching funds. Stay tuned for great forum posts coming out with summaries of all those round stats. Um, we've also got um, ENS sent us $20,000 to run two builders rounds um, for ENS public goods projects. So I'm meeting with ENS today to hash out the details, but the matching funds have already been sent and they're, they want this to be happening. So we're going to be running those rounds for ENS uh, coming soon as well. So it's still more action uh, in the quadratic funding space. Um, yeah, QF Working Group proposal is almost complete. There's going to be some exciting things in there, uh, like streamlining running QF rounds so that we can delegate work better and maybe adding a donation card. Oh, my. Um, yeah. And uh, I've also started creating an epic for 
scaling QF, basically making it easier so that I don't need to bug as many developers every time we run a QF round to do all kinds of small things. So like adding things to admin bro, creating some user experience changes to the, at least to the front end so that people are getting less confused around like when the round starts and what verified means and all things like that. Um, and we're scoping out also running a round um, in sponsorship by Arbitrum, a public goods round on Giveth. But that, you know, is also to be to be uh, followed to to follow basically our Arbitrum integration. Um, yeah. So analytics for, for February goals. We just have this Metapool matching pool around that's happening. So that's the only thing that I mentioned here for analytics. Ten thousand dollars matching funds, five to ten projects that's kind of like a given i'm hoping we can get at least eight thousand, but you know ideally more donations uh, corresponding to the round i think it'll be like a lot less activity in the polygon round obviously because it's going to be less projects less matching funds but if we can make like 8k i think that would be really great and hopefully no missed donations at all so none of this like post round cleanup those are my goals um yeah that's all so um actually i pass it to jake Oh, it's the Lauren Mitch and Jake show. Wait, are you sure? Mitch, Lauren, you want to take it away? This is getting weird if I speak. Yep, I'm doing fundraising highlights. And for us, since the last call, anybody happen to hear about OP Retro PGF round three? If you didn't, Giveth and the Giveth House did really good. At this point, I think we might have more OP tokens than give tokens in the vault. Look at all those OP tokens. Pretty amazing. Well done. Secondly would be the Arbitrum grant that uh, Lauren had spoken about a little bit. We uh, will have an integration coming up and we'll have some leftover funds to actually host an Arbitrum uh, sponsored QF round. And since the last time we had a community town hall, we did an ETC integration and got paid for it. So those are some of the highlights from fundraising. Moving on to... What happened in January specifically, we did finally get paid out from ETC and big praise to Frischelle. It was almost like she had an overpay, overdue bill. She sold those ETC tokens really quickly and got us $28,555 for those ETC tokens. Uh, just following up on optimism, if we do the math, it's looking like over 400000 um, from round three between the Giveth House and Giveth. Uh, and for Arbitrum, the grant was won at 7,500 um, plus some money from a previous round. So, as spoken about, we'll do an integration and the rest will go towards an Arbitrum sponsored QF round. Uh, some really exciting news. Uh, kind of a, a double-edged sword. We are losing somebody on the fundraising uh, team. Breaches, praise to you. Thanks for your hard work at Giveth. But we are adding Marcelo to the team. I don't see him on the call, so that's his first strike, I guess. But he will be working with Lauren and Mitch to uh, continue the great fundraising that we've done. Uh, also, currently, if you have any staked golem with Octant, uh, it looks like voting and allocation is going on until the 31st uh, and also Tyco's cycle to grant submission. Thanks, Griff. It's looking like we're at about 12 and a half ETH. I know it started off above 30. Man, it'd be great to get, get it moving up a little bit higher. But six days left in allocation. Use your voting power. Uh, what could have gone better as I spoke about? Thanks, Breaches. We'll be really sorry to see you go. Uh, hopefully, Marcelo can fill your shoes. Uh, we want to get stronger with supporting QF uh, sponsorship. Um, could always use the additional sponsors in those rounds. And we could always use some more grant submissions. Marcelo's really good about that. And then on the KPIs on the right, you can read a little bit of what's already gone on. Uh, but moving along to February, no, you're good, Griff, don't worry. Uh, the fundraising continues. We're going to be starting that stream, uh, probably the KYC, praise to Mitch for handling that. So beginning of February, that stream should start, and we should see that stream for about 90 days. Um, Optimism Season 5 Growth and Builder Grants will be open, and uh, we're really focused on continuing what we built on with OP. Uh, Moonbeam, that grant is in the works. I know it's pretty close. It just needs some T's crossed, some I's dotted, and we'll get that across. And as I just mentioned, we should be seeing some ETH as Griff showed here soon. 
Um, fingers crossed we'll receive that in February. And then Marcelo is going to be working hard in his Grand's Cave to get some more L2 submissions out uh, next month. So KPIs for us will be uh, L2 applications, give us more and more and more. Uh, we're going to be following up with our previous grant winnings. That's a big uh, action item for us. We want to let those uh, forums know what we're using the grant uh, funds for, be a little bit uh, retroactive on updates. And then maybe working group, so I can fall behind like Lauren on her proposal. Uh, let's see if that's in the works. That's really it for us over at fundraising. Should I hand it back to Mitch, Lauren, or Griff, you want to take it? I can take it. Uh, you know, this is our first town hall, so we're experimenting with just maybe a little q and I mean, there's an awesome discussion going on in the chat. Uh, I don't know if anyone has any other questions they want to bring up that are specific to this that, that we should continue to discuss while we have this extra five minutes. It look like the verified and public goods. Oh, yeah, go ahead. We have some amount of USDC to buy Solana and give them as rewards, but I haven't decided what we want to reward yet. You know, is it just onboarding or do we want to really incentivize donations and like give a bonus to projects who, who actually raise funds in Solana? Yeah, the, we we also can't really normally I, we would say I would I would push for a QF round like a Solana QF pool, but we we don't have civil protection from trust the labs on QF. So that's a big blocker. It was a bad joke. I was going to say maybe we can give them points. So. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> give points. New give economy working group uh, plan. On the give economy. Oh, go ahead. Actually, you first. Yeah, that's the cool like bonus feature is like a lot of projects want to have multiple people. Yeah. Yeah, so basically you set the multi-sig as, as like your, your profile and then your projects are all owned by that multi-sig. So anybody on the multi-sig can sign in uh, and manage those projects. Does it, does it I think Nose is Safe is the only game in town, unless you know something else. There are, but yeah, Nose is Safe for sure. And then is it, does it have to be a one of whatever multi-sig or it, even if it's like a three of seven multi-sig, all seven people could just sign in and do stuff on yeah, their own? Yeah, you could be any, sorry, my internet's laggy today. Am I still there? Yeah, we hear you great. Okay. Yeah, it could be anything. And so actually, like the sign in, what happens is like you sign in with your multisig and it creates a message that needs to be signed by like the minimum threshold. And then it creates a session. So then that multisig stays logged into Giveth for a defined amount. So you can set it to three days, you can set it to one week, or you can set it to one month. And then basically that session stays open. So you can just log in to give it without having to sign another message on the multi-sig. Great. Awesome. That is very cool. It makes me think about uh, project owner training because so the safe, the, the multi-sig functionality brings a lot of features but it's only Gnosis. And yet we also have things on optimism and we have uh, Solana coming. So, no, lots, sorry, lots of things for, it, go ahead. It's, 
It's on any. It's on any chain. It's uh. So okay. it used to be Gnosis safe, but it's just safe. And I always say Gnosis safe. Yeah, yeah. Any chain. Uh, any chain. Awesome. Okay. Good clarification. I have a question for Jake on the fundraising. I heard you mention that Giveth and the Giveth House had uh, a really great showing uh, on the optimism retro PGF round. And I'm curious if there's anything, there was also a lot of Giveth galaxy projects in there, right? Like it feels like overall in the ecosystem, uh, being associated with Giveth was good for you in this round. I don't know if we have yeah. any, any stats or anything on that scale. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, not only just with the Giveth side, but with the uh, general magic side, with TC, with common stats, with uh, some of the grants that we're assisting with throughout the, the Web3 eco space. Um, I don't have the number right in front of me, Griff. I think maybe you might have the, the complete OP token count for all that. If if you add a, up like praise pairwise, GMGM, GM, the Giveth House, and uh, Marco, and uh, there were just, there were probably like, I don't know, I want to say like seven to 10 projects that were directly like general magic or giveth projects uh and not including dap node which who killed it uh it was about 500,000 op so uh that came to general magic and giveth and then dap node itself got like i don't know 250k op uh there there's the G gm gm projects that we supported uh, there's bright id there, there are a lot of projects that are kind of in our in, in the in the galaxy but like not in the core you know that did really well so i would say that like optimism retro pgf was a huge boost uh for morale and for funding for this economy like out out of this world Thanks, Danny, for kind of bringing that up. And thanks, Griff, for, for backing me up with the, the numbers. Yeah, well, that's our show. It's 1101. So uh, thank you for joining the first town hall. Uh, special shout out to Willie. Good to see you, man. It's been uh, always, always a pleasure to see you in the, in the galaxy. And uh, we'll see you guys next month. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.